Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome any new viewers. So if you follow me on social media, which the links are down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. And just to let you know, I actually got this idea from something I saw at Hobby Lobby. It's not exactly this, but I thought it'd be a cute little project you can make that wouldn't cost too much money. So let's jump right in and get started. All right, y'all, so we're gonna go over everything needed for today's project. So you're gonna need some wood planks or just pieces of wood. I got these from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna go ahead and use them because I'm gonna cut it to the size I want it to be. So we're gonna need that. Now, this is a piece off of another project. I'm gonna use this. I actually got this for 25 cents because it, I wanna say it was broken. So, sometimes you can find good deals at Dollar Tree with clearance, so we're gonna use that. We're gonna use some miter shears. Some white paint, this is white paint from Apple Barrel. We're gonna use some school glue, just some white regular glue. We're also gonna use some Christmas paper. Um, these came from Michaels, and this came from Timu, but you can use it, you could use wrapping paper. They have wrapping paper at Dollar Tree. You can use napkins, you can get those from Dollar Tree, just whatever, but this is stuff I already had. And now you can also use, this is a option, you don't have to, little bows. These came from Dollar Tree in a pack also, so you can use those too. So we're gonna, well, I, I'm sorry, I forgot something. You'll need a cutter also. All right, we're also gonna be using some Mod Podge and some ribbon you could also use if you want to. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and cut the wood. And I already had this from one of my other projects that I, well, it wasn't really a project. I'm making something for my little cousins and I already had this cut out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And then I just cut, I just, I can't talk y'all. I just did some measurements. I'm not really sure how big this is, but it's slightly bigger. It's a little bit bigger than this. So I wanted something the biggest to do. And then I did a square. So I'm doing two rectangles and a square. You can do it any way you want. This is how I decided to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start cutting my wood. I'm just trying to give it some cuts. Oops. All right, so there's one. I'm gonna file it, I'm gonna not file it. I'm gonna um, sand it down also, just to help, but and just remember, I would not throw away any of these extra pieces of wood because you can use them for something else. So don't think they're disposable just because you're not using them for this project. Oopsie, I cut it crooked. <laughs> Alright, so I don't need these, so I'm going to put them aside, and then I'm going to sand these. I'm going to do it off camera because I want to do it over my trash can, but 
it's not too hard. All right, y'all, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna paint the base and the backs and sides of these all white. And then we'll, we will move on to the next. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting. And I'm doing this because it gives it a more unified look. Just makes it look like it's more finished than it is. I mean, when it is. And if you get a little white on the front, it's not a big deal because you're covering it anyways. And I picked white because I, for these, the back of these, because I am doing the base white. So that was my reasoning on this. But you could pick whatever colors you want. You do not have to do this exact same thing as me. probably going to go over with more than one coat of this white for these so be prepared to do that if you don't feel like it covers enough I'm sorry y'all everything's slipping out of my hands Now just remember, what I'm doing now is a good way to not only decorate your house cheaper, but it's also a good way to um, put your own spin on something because if you remember correctly, the Jingle Bell sign I made last year, I told y'all that it was not colors that I felt was very Christmassy, particularly for me. It was more like pastel colors, pink, blue, purple, and so I went ahead and redid it in green and red because to me that screams Christmas. So that's another reason to go ahead and do stuff like this if you don't get it to look, if you can't find it looking the way you want it to, but you like the idea or concept of the design. This is a good way to get it to be the colors you want it to be. Pretty sure I got all that in camera, and if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's just me painting these, of course. These were also basically the same color of wood, so you don't have to color them, paint them at all if you don't want to. I just wanted to paint mine. So, just remember all that when you're doing this. So we're gonna let all this dry and we'll do another coat. All right, now that these are pretty much dry, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut out my paper. And what I did was I took the pieces and I just went a little bit off of it so that, you, so that I don't waste too much of the paper because I wouldn't mind using this paper again. So, That's what I did. Showing you right here. Okay. And then I'm just gonna cut where I marked and hope I do a good job.
And then this extra paper I can always use again for another project. So I will put it to the side. There's no point in wasting paper if you can get away with not wasting it. If you could help it, I mean. I know I said that weird, but I say a lot of things weird. Anytime you have scraps, keep them. You never know what you might use it for. As you can see, it goes a little bit around all of it, which is fine. That's exactly what I wanted. So now we're going to move on to the actual Mod Podge and the paper onto the pieces. I'm super excited about this. I think this is going to come out looking great. I'm going to go ahead and start with the smallest one and go from there. I'm just going to add the Mod Podge on here. I'm trying to make sure I get plenty of it on because I definitely want it to stick. And I'm just going to take this Put it on there and then I'm going to Mod Podge over it. Now I'm going to move on to the next one. I'm going to do that for each of these. But I'm going to do something a little different because as you saw I had a little bit of problem with that one. So. If it gives you problems you just try it a different way. Get it a little crooked, but it'll work. Now we just need to let it all dry, and we'll move on. All right, now that they're dry, we're gonna move on to the next step, and that is literally cutting the extra off. Oops. 
Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to shake the camera. Technical difficulties here. There we go. easy step when it does what it's supposed to do. And there you have it. So you're going to do that with all three of them. And then this one that you cut out of the way. And then when we're done, we'll go to the next step. Alright, now that it's cut, we're going to do something. Well, I'm going to try to do something. And we're going to see how it works. I have some ribbon I got last year, I believe it was, from Dollar Tree. And we're just going to glue it on here. If I can get the glue out. Now this is a step that is really optional. I just think it would make it look more like a present if I did it this way. We'll see because it all depends on how it dries. It should dry clear, but I might have put too much. Give me a second. All right, I don't like how that came out, so we're going to try Mod Podge with it and see how it works. Just gonna go from there. Of course, we gotta let it dry. So we're gonna move on to each one and do that. This one's the right one. Sorry. Maybe it is, I don't know. It's a little 
a little choppy. I'm not trying to get it choppy, y'all. So let me try to clean it up. I'm sorry. So what we're trying to do is just get a basic look. So that should be fine. Let me clean this up a little. Sorry about this, y'all. But these should be fine. As soon as I find the one I lost. This is it right here. Yeah. So all we're doing, and I don't want it to look the same, so I'm gonna put them in different spots, just to try to give it a little different look. And this is just supposed to be the, oh, that didn't work, hold on, I started drawing too fast. We're just trying to get a basic look of ribbon on it. So we'll let all this dry and go from there. All right, so now for the last one. And hopefully this comes out looking okay. I got something on it. hope this works because it now seems to be working the way I want it to. So we just got to let all that dry and then we'll move on. All right they're dry so I'm going to go ahead and cut off the extra piece of Well, the excess part of the ribbon. This isn't working. <laughs> I had a feeling it wouldn't work. So we're just going to cut it off. There's a piece here, but I couldn't see it. All right, we're just gonna do that through. Apparently, I never cut this off. <laughs> I could have swore I did this. I'm going crazy, y'all. Oh well, it just makes cutting the piece off even easier. something different.
we're just doing this for all of it. Cannot believe I forgot this. I thought I cut it. All right, one more. Cut the ribbon off of this. All right. So that is, that step is done. Now we're gonna move on to the next step. Give me a second. And it's pretty easy. So I'm not gonna do it on this little one, but I'm gonna put a little bow on both of these. And then we'll do the last part. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna do something while I'm waiting for my hot glue to heat up. And I was gonna use snow, but apparently I lost my snow, so I'm gonna use white glitter for this part. And what I'm gonna do is, this is just something a little extra. I just wanna put some, sorry, I wanna put some glitter down like it's, you know, make it look more snowy, more wintry. Snowy. Only I would come up with something like that. Give me a second, y'all. Okay, so. I don't want to put a lot on here. I want to get some glue on here. And then I'm going to put some glitter. that dry and then we'll move on to the next step all right y'all my gun is heated up so I'm just gonna go ahead and I know these have stickers on the back but I'm just gonna glue these to it where I want it to be So like I said, you can't really do that with a small one because it's too small. So this is pretty much good. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to take and I'm going to glue these all on here. And just to let you know, if this doesn't work the way I want it to, I have a solution. So I'm just playing around with how I want it to look and adding the glue to it oh hold on this one didn't get cut good give me a second y'all there we go that's fine and then we're just going to take and the plan was to overlap all three but sometimes it doesn't work that way but there it is I think it is really cute I love how it came out I enjoyed making this project if y'all like it please 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 like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it does help my channel to grow. And I will see y'all next time. Bye!